Ever wonder what makes the Mall of America one of Minnesota's top tourist destinations? It is so much more than the over 500 stores inside. It is the variety of experiences and adventures that await. Today's video is a guide to the best things to see and do as we take you beyond the price tags and shopping bags. This is the Mall of America like you've never seen it before. Welcome back to Love Nesters. We are in Bloomington, Minnesota visiting. We are visiting the Mall of America, the largest mall as the name would suggest. It is so big you can fit over 10 of the great pyramids inside of here. Are you serious, Park? I'm serious. It can take days to see this place. We're going to try to bring you the highlights in just one day. One day? I thought you said 20 minutes. Yeah, you're going to have fun. We're actually not going to shop. This is going to be experiential shopping today. What? So the first tip that we would have, the mall opens about three hours before the actual shops do. So get here early, there's plenty of restaurants that are open and some mall walking. Whoa, who doesn't, who doesn't like mall walking? <laughs> so one of the more popular attractions here at the mall is the Lego store. This giant Lego robot is just huge. Oh gosh, we can see Jeff. Just to give you a sense of how big that giant robot is, there's Jeff going up the escalator. I think even the people inside the giant robot are bigger than Jeff. But all of these statues are made with Legos. Where was Legos originally created is the question. If you have an answer, please put it in the comments. So far, the Lego store is the most popular store that we've seen. You got crowds waiting for the doors to open here. So one of the more popular features here at the mall is the Lego store. They have a whole area in front where you can do your own creating while you're waiting to get in the store. Wow, and look at this creation. <laughs> yeah, I've got Matt Are you gonna, is there a contest today? <laughs> yeah, I think they're gonna want me to help build their next large structure. So the Lego store is one of the most popular stores in the mall. There's often a line. So we made sure that this was one of the first places we went. Hey, look at this. You can kind of make your own figures here. Aren't those cool? So this is the part that you design and what goes on the shirt and then you pick out your own head and top. And this is the famous wall of Lego, just like every color imaginable. The whole Lego area is filled with unique photo ops. This is Nickelodeon Universe. It looks like it's just starting to come alive. It's a seven acre amusement park right in the middle of the Mall of America. It's one of the unique features of this mall. There goes Hank. He's testing the roller coaster again. That crazy nut is always on that ride. If you've been to the Mall of America in the early days, it was originally Camp Snoopy, but it is now Nickelodeon Universe. All right, so you do have the ability to buy an unlimited wristband, or you can do it by points and just uh, buy enough points for your ride. So if you wanted to go on a six point ride, it's only $8, a three point ride, it's $4. Obviously, if you want to ride here all day, it's better off getting the wristband. 
This is the log shoot ride. This has been here from the beginning. About 850,000 people go on this ride each year. There are over 30,000 plants in here. It takes a whole crew to keep these looking lovely. So one of the great things you can do at the Mall of America if you don't want to shop is experience an amusement park all year round. How fantastic is that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nickelodeon Universe is a seven acre theme park right in the middle of this mall. The other great thing about this mall is it's constantly at 70 degrees. 70 degrees. How wow. do they do that, honey? They don't heat it. It's all natural. It's really cool. With the lights and the body heat in here, they're somehow able to keep it warmer than our house. Thanks for being here. This has to be the coolest rock climbing place I've ever seen. The original home plate of where the Metropolitan Stadium was, where the Minnesota Twins and Minnesota Vikings played, right here. So the outfield is where this Nickelodeon universe is. It's out of here! There are two immersive movie experiences in Nickelodeon Universe. This is the all Minnesota Viking store. Okay, so I've lost Jeff. He wandered off into a Viking store to harass the Viking fans. I don't know what to tell you. Just saying, Minnesota fans are a little uh, sensitive. I don't think the Minnesota Viking store appreciated that I asked them how many uh, Super Bowls the Vikings have won. That's when I got kicked out. If you are looking for a unique experience, you've got to check out the Canada Goose. <laughs> we literally have a thousand dollar jackets on testing them out in this whole room at the... At the Canada Goose, they actually have a room that gets down to minus 13 degrees. So they, you can test out the jacket. These are like what they wear on polar exhibitions. They are letting us wear them and I'm telling you, I'm warm. My hands are cold because they don't have gloves on, but I'm fine in the coat. This is incredible. Okay, you can see the frost on there from how cold it is. So cool.
All right, so at the Mall of America, they do have a coupon book available, which gets you discounts on attractions and clothing and food. So we're gonna give that a try. We did find a way to get 50% off. We'll put a link in the description for that code for 2024. We're gonna see how many coupons we can use today. Yeah, the biggest negative on the book is you need your cheaters if you're old like us. The font is so tiny. The aquarium is the largest in Minnesota and it's at the lower level of the Mall of America. All right, so we used our first coupon of the day. $4 off each at Sea Life. Sea Life! Which I guess paid for the book. It paid for the book already, hey! There we go, pressure's off. All of this is under the Mall of America. I didn't want to be in the water with those. They live in swamps. Oh my, they live in swamps. Okay, these are piranhas. Oh boy. Jeff, you want to stick your hand in? Oh, what's this big, it looks like a turtle, but is it a turtle? What, the the what is that? Oh I've never seen anything like that. It looks like an alligator, a turtle, a fish. Okay, if you know what type of fish that is, please make a comment. The attraction gets busier as the day goes on, so try to hit this one as early as you can to avoid the crowds. This is exceeding expectations. It's a great place for families, but definitely come earlier in the day. It does fill up. Very good. Oh my gosh, guys, look at those teeth. Oh, if I saw that in real life, I would be wetting my pants. Oh my gosh. Oh, have we ever stepped on one of those? But we've seen them in the wild, haven't we? One of our subscribers, Cody, does not like sea urchins. Oh, so there's this huge room of jellyfish. Very cool. Fun fact, there are more than 2,000 species of jellyfish. Sea Life is the largest aquarium in Minnesota and it is under the Mall of America making it a very unique experience. It's 
come up and climb the wall. Oh, they're okay. They're very slimy. They're kind of squishy. And my hand is frozen. Slimy and squishy, you heard it right here. So the nice thing is your pass is good all day. So you come in at a specific time, but you can use it throughout the day. If you're early, the parking is perfect if you get here early. So park in the east or west lot, it's covered parking and then you're connected right to the mall. What's the main difference? Hey, I'm super excited to check out the M&M store. I love M&M's. I need to help Jeff understand that one. Hey, if you are enjoying our adventures, please like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a thing and it helps others to find the channel. Every week we provide a new adventure idea. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. All right, there's more M&M goodness upstairs. Look at this happy camper. <laughs> this is more my speed. It's not made out of Legos. It's made out of M&M's. That is so cool. Okay, I so hope we're getting a bag and doing this. This looks awesome. Wow. Okay, so they have some incredibly unique flavors here. Toasty vanilla caramel, dark chocolate. I have to tell you, if you've never had fudge brownie, that's to die for. Caramel cold brew. And this, he said, is their newer flavor, white chocolate strawberry shake. Might have to give that a try. Okay, apparently you can design your own M&M. That's a great idea for like a wedding or a graduation. This is another attraction filled with some fun photo ops. This place is huge. Over 40 million people come to visit this mall every year. That's five times the state. 40 million? Five times the population of the state of Minnesota. Are you serious, Park? So they have a huge Lululemon store here. And this store, actually, you can have a workout space in here. There's a cafe type space in here, as well as shopping. So we're going to check them out. Ooh, Lemon, the people here have been great. I think we should dress you in maybe that yellow and white outfit and get you one of those fanny packs. Hey, fanny packs are coming back. Hey, they never went out of style. They never went out. So in that coupon book, there is a free class that we could have. Uh, but this is so neat. You can rent these spaces out, hang out, um, or you can take a class here. Okay, this was just way too fun.
There are actually two of these arcade facilities, one in Nickelodeon Universe and one on the third floor of the Mall of America. Of course, you could always come here and have your nails done, have some spa treatments done. Love to get jumped in that pretty, pretty princess chair. Just so we think we found the end, there is more. This place is huge. All right, we're gonna check out this mini golf place. Okay, so this is cool. This is like a black light experience. So there are 18 holes back in here. It is bigger than you would think. Much bigger than you think. The black light really is a fun effect. Yeah, they've really done a nice job well, in here. Who doesn't like miniature golf? Cool. So you get it on the ramp and then it gets on a little pulley. And then it goes like a plane bus. What? This place is cool. Oh, and then. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Looking for more mini golf? Be sure and check out the mountain themed golf course on the third floor. Looks like there's a whole Girl Scout troop in there making bears. So this is another experience you can have here. Nerf Gun Wars, Tactical Combat. Honey, did you ever have even a 64 pack of crayons? Yeah. You were lucky to have eight, weren't you? We, and it wasn't Crayola, it was not. Oh. <laughs> um, we never had Crayola. So this is the Crayola experience. It's absolutely huge and it smells like wax. So you get to make different projects in here. Growing up, the only place you ever wanted to do to go to in the mall when I grew up was Spencer's. And it's still here. Okay guys, that store was, that was something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't film it all for you, but we want to keep the channel clean. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Okay, whoops, we're going into the mirror maze. Where are we? The door is closed, but it's like you see them all out there. Okay, I just about walked in. I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, this would be fun. You can do an old time photo here at the mall. So Wink World is a new experience here at the Mall of America. It was actually developed by the folks from Blue Man Group. Well, we're gonna call it a day. We've been here for at least six hours and our feet are feeling it. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha